In this video, we will be discussing building plot animations using the Interactive Plot Builder. Let's start with a simple example. Let's do sine of t times s squared. So we can see here from this expression we have two variables, t and s. So potentially we could do a 3D plot here, maybe we can do a 2D plot with one animation var variable. Uh, let's experiment using the plot builder. So we've typed in this expression. Let's now go over to plot builder over here on the context panel. If this isn't open, you can open or collapse it using this button here, or you can just hover over this in order to have the menu pop open. But let's choose plot builder. We'll wait a second for this to come up. And now we can see the plot builder is giving us options. So as I said before, we can quickly do a 3D plot here if we wanted to. But what I'm interested in doing is an animation. So I'm going to choose the animation parameter. And then we get a different list than what we had before, because now we're constricting uh, this expression to being only of one variable and then one animation parameter. So let's do an animation of this just as a 2D plot. And we'll see now by default that the animation chooses one of the two variables as our animation variable. So it chooses t, and it uses t from 0 to 10. And the plot itself is going to show values of s. So we see here s is on our our, our horizontal axis, our x-axis. So s here is from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. So let's just click here build animation to see what happens. And this builds the animation for us. We can now go up and use the animation controls up here in the toolbar. And now we see what happens with this expression as we are varying the t variable here. So if we do sine of t for different values, we're going, as we remind, remind ourselves, from 0 to 10 for t, we're seeing how this expression changes. Now say we wanted to change this around. Instead we wanted to animate for s and we want to use t as our x or our horizontal va value. So we can again look at the values here. We'll leave s in this case 0 to 10. We'll leave our very values as, as they are. But of course you can customize everything you see here including things like our line thickness. Uh, but let's just build this for the variable s and then we'll play this back. And now we see a different evolution of this curve, right? We're seeing now as this is changing for different values uh, of s. So the plot builder, it's a great way of being able to animate, being able to kind of get a little bit closer in uh, with the expressions that you're going to be using in your everyday work. So let's go on. I want to show you a couple more examples, uh, specifically a couple, a couple of uh, implicit plots and so on. All right, so in the next example, let's do uh, a circle. Let's do x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, where r squared is the radius of our circle. Um, so what we have to do first is we have to use a command. If we're going to plot this, we have to use a plan, command like implicit plot. But uh, the plot builder is going to help us out with, with choosing this. So if we go over here, we again click on the expression, we choose plot builder. We see by default it's saying, okay, this is going to only be able to generate a 3D implicit plot, but if we limit our options, we can now see that with an animation we can do a 2D implicit plot, uh, which is great. Now it actually does something that we don't quite expect here. It chooses Y to be our animation variable, but what we actually want is we want to customize the radius. And let's choose here some different values. Let's go from R from 1 to 3 as uh, the values, and then we can leave x and y as our two other variables here. So x and y are the conventional axis values here. Just for fun, let's change this to use some different colors, different line thickness. And finally, let's click on build animation in order to build this animation. So the animation has now been built. I can go up here now. I can play this back and I can watch as this circle just grows on us. Uh, another reminder, once you've actually done this, you can of course then right click on it and export. In this case, you want, want to export to a GIF file that gives you the, kind of the animation when you do export it. So if you do want to take this, put this into another place, this is certainly the export variant that you would use. All right, for my final example, I want to do a 3D plot. So let's do a 3D plot, but let's define it somewhat differently. Let's define it parametrically. So let's do cos of t sine of t, and as our last term, let's do 2 plus sine of a. Here we'll add in our animation parameter, and then we'll do that times t, just to make sure we're parameterized across all the x, y, and z terms. 
As before, we've got our term, our expression typed in. Let's go over here and choose Plot Builder. And uh, we'll, of course, choose Animation. And what we get in this case is a 3D space curve. And this is kind of what I was hoping for. Now, by default, it chooses T as our animation parameter, but we actually want to animate over A. Yeah, that looks a little bit better for our space curve. And let's do some customizations here. Let's go from 0 to 2 pi for T. And let's go A from 0 to 20, we'll say. Build this out a little bit more. Again, we'll do a little bit of a thicker line, just that way the animation looks a little bit nicer. We'll build our animation, and then let's play this back. So we can kind of see as this, as our space curve is now oscillating, it's kind of almost jumping up and down uh, on the, uh, the uh, vertical axes here. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of different options to our plot builder. Uh, you can see more examples within the Maple Help system. If you are curious how to use it, there's help pages. It is called the Interactive Plot Builder, but realistically, the best way of working with it is really just you type in an expression, you just click over here on the right side of your screen and just allow the Plot Builder to build up different types of plots and animations for you.